First thing, you know, the firm has global kind of workplace standards that we try to stick to. So the idea is that over time, you'll walk into a Hong Kong office, a Tokyo office, a Salt Lake City office, a New York office, and it'll look very familiar. In other words, really, there shouldn't be much difference as it relates to how it looks, feels, and the layout of the office space. Secondly, I mean, what I'd like to do is just reflect on my own career within the firm. And when I think about, I've been here for 20 years. When I first started at Goldman Sachs, I sat in a cube. Um, all of the offices were on the outside in the windows. Every vice president within Goldman Sachs had an office. And so there were a lot of offices and all of the workspaces were kind of cubes in the middle of the, in the, middle of the space. Uh, fast forward to today and we're gonna, we'll get a look of, at our space today and this is very much how we are operate. So what we have is we have some offices in the core Offices are really only uh, available to our most senior managers. Um, and, and then what we've done is we have other offices, which we call team rooms, which are shared by our people when they need some privacy or they need to have a one-on-one -on -one with one of their uh, co-employees or they need some private space. We have team rooms that everyone can share and utilize. And then all of our workplace and workspace, sorry, is on the outside along the windows. And then obviously we've get, gotten rid of cubes, but we have a very collaborative workspace that's very, a lot denser, uh, but allows for much better collaboration and, and working together.